Central dogma of molecular biology states that DNA makes RNA and RNA makes protein. So there is just a one directional flow of information. Whereas uh, we observe there are some exceptions to this central dogma also. So we can say central dogma is not a dogma. So flow of information is not always in one direction. There are some exceptions to it. So there are some organisms uh, in which the DNA is made from the RNA. So the process is called as reverse transcription. Same way there are some proteins uh, which are there, which uh, change from one form of uh, their, their one form to another form and then they can also do some, they can cause some diseases. So there are also, there are also the exceptions to this central dogma. So the examples are retrotransposons and retroviruses and the proteins I was talking about, they were prions. So they, these are the proteins, these prions are the proteins with the ability to alter the 3D structure of other proteins. The example of retroviruses um, is Rouse sarcoma virus. So that is the virus from where this concept was discovered. So there is an enzyme in it, which we call it as reverse transcriptase. So it brings about reverse transcription. So transcription is when the DNA uh, gets uh, transcribed into RNA. Whereas in reverse transcription, the opposite is true. So RNA gives you the DNA. Uh, this RSV causes uh, different diseases in chicken. And here is another example, which is HIV. So most of you will may be familiar with AIDS or HIV virus. So HIV is also a retrovirus. So here, as we see in this diagram, this HIV incorporates into a cell. It contains RNA in it. So this RNA then gets converted into this DNA. So that process is reverse transcription. Then this molecule gets integrated into the nucleus where it gets integrated into the main chromosome where it replicates. And then obviously it transcribes. So it forms the RNA. So many copies of the RNA are there. And then when it wants to leave that cell, that RNA gets packed again. So using these uh, proteins which are embedded into the cell membrane of the host cells. Uh, here we see prions. So as I indicated earlier, so prions, they cause different diseases where different forms of the proteins, they get interconverted into one another. And obviously, as a result of this, so here we see in this slide, there are different prion diseases. Um, the most common from which this uh, prions, they were discovered was the mad cow disease. So mainly it, it destroyed uh, the cattle industry in, in, in Europe. So there are different neurological disorders which are there in the animal. And obviously they were causing also the diseases in the humans. So one of them is uh, CJD, Roosevelt Jacob disease. So these are also having some neurological disorders as we see. Uh, scrappy is another disease caused by those prions, uh, which is there in the cattle like sheep. So in the end, we conclude that uh, central dogma is not a true dogma. So actually there are some exceptions like this process of reverse transcription is there as well as there are those uh, prions, those organisms uh, in which the proteins, they can also play the role of uh, hereditary materials.